Morning guys. So got a customer diagnosed problem here. A starter right here on this Chevy with a 3.8. Now they already supplied their own starter. But look at that. That's the main lug on the starter. Now the problem was it had a labored starting uh, effort. You know, like a bad ground, bad power, but I'm going to say that these connections are the problem. But we're putting a starter in anyway because he already supplied it. So let me go ahead. I'm going to clean these up and we'll go from there. All right, so there we go. I took my little whizzer wheel and I cleaned everything up both sides. And then even the little trigger wire I cleaned up. So now let's put the starter in. Whoever replaced the starter before, that one there, um, they t I don't know how in the world they tightened it, but I actually had to use a breaker bar to break the bolts free. My guns wouldn't take it off. It was that tight. So whoever put it on, you tighten it up that tight, you can actually distort the starter. So you've got to put these things in and tighten them by hand. Don't tighten them with a gun. You distort the starter, and you know, then you're going to wind up with issues down the road. And that starter does not look that old. So. All right, well, let's go ahead and put the starter in. All right, so there we go. We got the wires connected. Now, I've explained this before. Whenever you do one of these, make sure that this wire is not anywhere close to this wire. If this wire here comes in contact with that, it'll start cranking on its own. This is the trigger wire. This is the power wire. So it's always got power. It only gets triggered when you turn the key, you know, to the crank position, that is. So you want to be careful of that. So also, tighten these by hand. Don't tighten them with a gun. That's actually a brass thread. Uh, brass stud basically you tighten that with a gun you could snap it right off obviously that one's so tiny you don't want to do that do it by hand just this way you have a good feel for it too so now we're going to bolt that back up in place all right here we go let's try starting it all right, all right sounds all right I did check the powers and grounds and where they went to everything, and the only thing I saw was corrosion on the starter. The actual ground to the block and the ground down there is actually okay. It's tight, so I'm not really worried about it. So, that's about it. We're going to put this outside. We're going to leave it run because supposedly it gets worse when it gets hot, and let it get hot and see if it does the same thing. So, that's it. If you like the videos, hit the like button. If you could, please subscribe. Help me make more videos, better videos, better content. That's it for today. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.